Hey everybody, welcome back to our family pantry and today we're going to show you how to preserve lemons. Yep, we've got a ton of lemons. We went and visited my grandfather and he's got a lemon tree and so he sent us home with a bunch. So this is some of them and I'll show you a few things we're going to use. This is a juicer um, and then this is just a different type of juicer. You can choose anything you want. I use a bowl for garbage and then you just need a vessel for collecting your lemon juice and I like to use a funnel just because it keeps everything nice and tidy and then this is just a rasp grater to get the lemon zest and then you want to make sure that you clean all of your lemons really well and then dry them off too. Now you're just gonna grate them for the lemon zest and you know just go around it's gonna be simple. It's you just want yep. that top layer of zest, that top real yellow layer. Um, you don't want to get any of the white part. Now these are Meyer lemons, and so they're a little bit darker under the zest under than under normal. The zest, right? And they're they're a sweeter lemon. They're they're not your typical sour, super sour lemon. It's more sweet. It is a little bit not not sweet, but not as sour. It's right. kind of hard to explain. <laughs> so I start out by doing the zest and getting all that off. And then I cut them in half and just start juicing them just the best I can. And then sometimes you get little bits that clog it up, but this is why I use a garbage bowl. You can do it over the trash can too, near it. Um, my trash can's just on the other side of the counter, and so I like to do that. And then this is just the process of how we do it. We're just gonna zest them all first, or zest as many as we can. And then zest and juice, zest and juice. That's right. And then we'll show you in a little bit what we do with the zest and then how we um, put the juice up too, so we can use it for future recipes. Once I get a full um, juicer container, I just use a, a strainer just to strain off any extra seeds that might come out and then just put it in the vessel that I'm working with. And then I clean out my um, juicer of all those remaining bits and then I just start the process all over again. Right here we have six lemons and we're gonna save those to show you how to make fresh lemonade and some lemon bars. And then the juice that we got out of the rest of the lemons is five cups and that we will divide up and store that too. And then we've got the lemon zest because most recipes call for lemon zest as well. And so just here in a second, we're gonna show you how we um, get everything all set and ready to put in the freezer and dry it out. And so with our lemon juice, I just take Ziploc bags, and these are just the sandwich bag size. Um, and then I use a container, or first I write the, you know, what's going in it, because it's easier to write it when the bag's dry and nothing's in it. And then I'm just measuring out one cup of juice. And I put the bag in a jar, in a mason jar, just so it stays, because um, I didn't have any more hands to, to help me. And so I just do that and then seal out all of the air as much as I can. And then just repeat that process for the rest of the juice that I have.
up the lemon zest. And what I like to do is to put it on kind of a, a plastic sheet. This sheet is from my dehydrator. Um, I dehydrate several different things, but I just put it all, you could use um, parchment paper. Um, I wouldn't use wax paper, but either parchment paper or a drying sheet um, from a dehydrator. And then I just spread it out. And this time um, I've got some that I did ahead of time. And this is what it looks like dry. And you just wanna make sure that it's completely dry and there's no moisture left. You can put it in a dehydrator or you can just leave it out on the counter. And then in order to put it in, I just like to put it back on parchment paper and kind of create a funnel and then just put it in a little container. And then that way when you need lemon zest in a recipe and it calls for it, you can just take your fresh um, dehydrated um, lemon zest. And then I just put my um, juice into the freezer, into a freezer pan and then freeze them all flat. And then I store it the same way I do my chicken broth. And I can leave a link in the description box for that chicken broth recipe. But So I just stack them up and have them in the freezer like that. Yep, and so simple, and it's fun to do. And, you know... Nothing goes to waste, huh? <laughs> right, nothing goes to waste. We use all of it. And it's the these Meyer lemons are really delicious. So we hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for coming to our family pantry. You have a good day. Have a great day. Bye-bye.